how to create animals in blender and in this video we will be creating a cat inside blender so it will be a local cat and it will look something like this so it's pretty much easy for beginners to follow it and now let's get started okay so first of all we have the default cute and all the stuff so we can just simply delete that thing and by pressing the one key you can actually go to the front view let me just turn off the uh, screencast key so you can actually see what's going on what keys i am pressing okay so now you can see any keys that i pressed here so it will be more easy to follow it so i have a simple reference and if you want the same reference i will uh, put a link in the description for it so you can check from that so i have a simple image and I drag it from my file explore, explorer to the scene and as you can see I am in the front view so I can just simply move this one down GZ to grab it down and put it somewhere around here and now we are pretty much ready to start just one last thing that we can make this one a little bit so G and Y to just move it toward the white side a little and now if I press the one so at the front we have something like this okay so we can start from different object but here I will try to start it from cylinder but at this cylinder we will be having like less vertex so we want like six loops actually so we need it locally as that and now let's just scale it go to the front view and start from the front feet so i will rotate this one with the 90 degree rotation at 90 degree and now what i can do is i can simply go to the edit mode by pressing the tab move this one toward down a little more toward this something like this move it a little upside and now we are ready to go so for the first let's just match it with the reference something like this i would like to move this one here need to exclude that or to rotate that and as to scale that something like this and the next step is this one extrude rotate with r as to scale and next one extrude and I will try to first straight this thing so as Z and 0 to just straight it something like this and now I can just turn it and move it around here and extrude move it here scale it up and also let's just see it from this side that what's going on so it's too boxy type and we actually don't need it so what I can do is I can select this hole and control plus to just add uh, select more of that and as y to just scale it on the y same thing like this would be fine for now and now in edit mode select now and drag it toward the y direction something like this now go to the edit mode come up here and add a mirror modifier so and we want it at the y direction so now if we just create the one side the next side will be automatically created so i like to keep the gap something like this would be fine and again going to the front view and continuing my model so one more extrude rotate it something like this and i'm just scaling that so it's pretty much simple and now what i can do is i can move this one here a little also this one and by selecting these three extruding it toward the y direction i will just turn off the clipping so it clip in the middle something like this and now i can delete actually this this face i actually don't need it so again going to the vertex selection and now the next step will be uh, selecting these edges these two edges actually and extruding it toward the up direction one two okay we don't need actually care about a lot of stuff here we are just simply covering the shape for now maybe later on we can add do some more changes also so extrude that and now at this stage we can just grab it toward the y direction and also scale it toward the y so we can make it a little straight and now extrude it toward the up again moving toward this direction and extruding toward the up and at the last we can just simply merge that and let's see if it hits toward our reference so it already hit it and it's pretty much fine so we don't need to actually do some changes in that now select all this loop with alt left uh, alt shift and left click and we can actually extrude this one toward this direction and we just need uh, these two loops to be go down something like this rotate that grab it a little up and something like this is now fine okay for the back what i actually do is i copy all my feet and shift d select it and shift d 
and move it toward the x direction something like this would be fine and i just match it with the reference so it's easy to match it i am just making it scale rotate and all that and it's working something like this something like this yep this one should be goes here this one should be come up here and just scaling that extrude it one more time rotate and scale that also this one should be scaled a little more i think and now this one and let's see we can actually join it here so as you can see one vertex is already joined so we don't need it so i will turn off the clipping move it toward here also move the whole thing toward the y a little because we don't want it to join that early okay so what i can do now is select these three extrude it toward the y and turn off my clipping so i can clip it easily something like this now it's pretty much easy to follow more so we have to just select all these and f to fill that and we can simply select this one f to fill f to fill and f to fill f to no control z actually okay so we can start from this now uh, actually what i need is i can select all this e to extrude that toward here and now we can just select these four and f to fill that and I can simply make this thing a little I can fix it later we don't need it actually for now so again selecting this one and F to just make a face if you don't if you're not getting this thing and it's not working for you you can just simply go here to the edit preference and search for an add-on called F2 I just check it and save it from here and then after that if you just come up to a corner or something like this and press F it will create a face so if it's not working you can just turn off it add on it's working because of that add on okay so uh, I am just simply now trying to match that with the reference F F and F and F okay and for the last we can just simply match that into something like this and now this one F, F and just filling that we can just move it toward the Y direction also this one F to fill that, F to fill that grab it toward the Y, grab it toward the Y and one last thing we can do is one last time we have to do this thing and now it is the time to make the tail so right click and make this one circle again if you don't get this option it need an add-on it's a uh, blender built-in add-on so you have to just come up to the add-ons and now click for loop loop tool so if you just run on this thing now right click you will get this option and you can now make it circle so i create a circle and now rotating it scaling it something like this as we need it and now extrude scale extrude rotate extrude rotate extrude rotate and extrude something like this and also we can just select this one these places come up here and we can move it to word here so we can exactly match it to the reference that we need it okay coming coming up here to the front actually to the head so i'm just selecting all the loop and let's Try extruding that first so E extrude scale something like this and we can actually move this toward the Y direction because we are starting the head so the neck should be a little thinner like this and now E to extrude that has to scale that something like this now again I will like to just rotate that a little E to extrude that rotate that a little something like here and as we can see the ears are separated so we can model that separated we don't need it actually for now so i am just trying to cover up my this shape extrude and for the end we can just simply do this thing
we can add one more loop here to just make this this place round and as you can see we can now fill this thing so for the filling we can just come up to this edge and select this and no we actually we can select the corner and press f f and f and merge this one at the down and for this one it's it's only one edge so we can just simply f f and it will work but we need just one more loop here i will also alt s to just scale it a little outside and now i can just press f f and f okay uh, we can actually dissolve this edge also this edge this edge so we can simply connect these two chair to just connect it and we are done with this place uh, it looks a little weird for now but simply if you just turn off the wireframe come up to the sculpt and t to just get all these brushes pick up the smooth brush decrease the strength and you can just simply as smooth this thing so it's pretty much fine now we can just simply now match that with the reference so proportional editing will be turned on and let's just move it here here and this one should be go something like this something like this would be fine and the final thing is that we can actually make the head more round something like this would be fine as you can see it's more like cat now and at the last we can just model our ear so i'm just selecting this one we need to extrude that we can just scale this thing something like this now e to extrude that and now scale it again move it something like here and we can actually turn off the merge select the edge double g to merge that double g to merge that so we have now only two edges we can just select that and we have one face so we can actually extrude it at the end And now we can again come up to the skirt and picking up the smooth brush and we, we can actually smooth some of the stuff that we need. So control R to add a loop here and select this metal one and we can actually move this one here and now control shift b to just bevel that and r to just increase the segments and now delete the middle loop middle vertex and select the remaining loop right click and make it circle and just we can just scale that a little something like this and f to fill that and in the now let's just come up to the shading add a new material and select this one this color actually black one and let's see how it's looking so we can turn off the specular if we want a little and also we can increase the roughness and for this one for the eye we can just add a new color we can pick up this color and assign that and for the white color inside the body So that's how you can create a low poly CAD inside Blender. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.